Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. I'm working on a Toshiba laptop here. And the problem that I'm gonna help you solve today is if you go to power on your computer and you're getting some sort of blue screen error, sometimes you hear it called the blue screen of death, uh, there's a variety of different blue screen errors you could be getting. Sometimes your screen stays black and all you see is a blinking cursor. Uh, or sometimes it's just stuck loading. Uh, I'm going to show you how to adjust those problems today in, in this video. Uh, now keep in mind, if your computer is freezing or shutting off before the initial logo screen, that's a different problem and a different fix. Look below in, in the description, that's a computer won't turn on fix. Uh, and if your computer is starting, and you can hear the motherboard clicks, you can hear the fan engage, so you, you think your computer's on, the screen is just staying black or dim, that's a black screen fix video uh, down below. This is specifically for if your computer starts, it hits that initial logo screen, and then it goes to a, a blue screen error, or a black screen with blinking cursor, or it's stuck loading on that screen. That's what I'm gonna show you how to fix today. Now to start with, um, we're going to try to get into the bio system here to see if we can fix this problem that way. So turn your, uh, your Toshiba on and start clicking on F12 right away. Some Toshibas are different. Uh, some Toshibas are F1, some are F2. Uh, unfortunately, Toshiba likes playing around and, and, and changing it sometimes. So sorry that that may be a little frustrating. Um, if you're having issues finding your right function key, let me know and I can see if I can look it up for you. So we're gonna try to get in, into the setup. So your BIOS may look a little different than mine does. Right now, I, I'm on the boot menu. Yours may have taken you directly into BIOS or, or you could have a number of, of other um, displays of BIOS. So, so just navigate around, try to find the options that I'm gonna show you. So I don't see my options here. This is just a boot order. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna hit enter setup. Okay, this is taking me to where I, I want to be. For the first thing I'm going to have you check is going to be your date and time settings up here. Uh, you may or may not have the use of your mouse as, as I do. Uh, you may have to use tab, but I have my system time and system date settings here. Make sure those are correct, first of all. Uh, that'll be our first, our first troubleshooting step. If BIOS date and time is wrong, it creates all sort of issues in your computer's booting up phase. So make sure that that's correct. If you do have to change it, if it's incorrect, change it, hit save and exit, and then try to boot your computer up again, see if that was the cause. If that's not the cause, then we're gonna have you do something else here. The next thing I'm gonna have you try is, is to change uh, between two other options in how BIOS is starting. Now again, you may have to navigate around to find these options. You have UEFI and you have Legacy. Sometimes legacy, you'll see it as CSM. Uh, but you have those two options. I'm gonna to try to find where those are located so we can switch between them. So I don't see any legacy or UEFI option here. I'm gonna check out my security section. I don't see any here. Power management, I don't see any here. So I'm gonna keep looking, advanced. Okay, so I still don't see any, but there is a system configuration button here. So I'm gonna look in there because that's my last option really. Okay, so here we go. So there's your boot mode, and it's currently set to UEFI. So again, your BIOS may look different. You may just have to explore around it and, and try to find UEFI or legacy. And again, sometimes legacy will be CSM. Uh, so try to find those. So I have found it. Now I'm gonna try to switch it to whatever it's not. So if yours says legacy or CSM, you're gonna change it to UEFI. And in my case, mine says UEFI, so I'm gonna change it to legacy. Now changing from legacy to UEFI is a little easier because the computer generally wants you to use UEFI. Uh, changing to legacy, you may have to change some other settings. As you can see here, this drop-down menu is, is grayed out. I, I can't change it. So those of you like me who have to change from UEFI to legacy, it may take a little bit more work. So in that case, I'm gonna go back up here to security Secure boot is enabled. I'm gonna disable it. Okay, now go back to advanced system configuration. And now you see here, now the UEFI drop down menu, it's, it's not grayed out. I can drop it down and I can choose CSM. And again, CSM is another name for legacy. 
So those of you like me who, who had to do that change, that's how, how you would do it. So again here, after you've made that change, save and exit, shut your computer down, try to boot it up again. If your computer boots up, you found the cause, let me know. Uh, if your computer doesn't boot up, then we're gonna keep troubleshooting. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm, I'm gonna close out of here. Uh, discard changes. Now the only other thing at this point in, in, in my shop, I would use diagnostic software I have on hand to test your hard drive and your RAM. But you probably don't have that where you are. And unfortunately, Toshiba doesn't come with diagnostic software pre-installed. So then you're left with just trying to trial and error it. So the next thing you want to do is try a factory reset of your computer. Again, we're assuming now it's not BIOS. We're assuming that it's an operating system issue. So try, there'll be a, uh, a video link below in the description on how to perform a factory reset on a Toshiba computer. So try that. If the reset doesn't go through, and if it doesn't help, it could be that your operating system is just too corrupt. In that case, use the next video link to reinstall the operating system fresh. And you can do that free. You don't have uh, to purchase um, a new operating system. I'll, I'll have a link where you can get it for free down below too. Now, assuming it was an operating system issue, that will fix your problem. If your problem is not an operating system issue, if it's a hard drive issue, you won't be able to install the operating system. It, it will keep erroring out, most likely because your hard drive is, is bad. In, at that point, you would swap out your hard drive. Uh, I'll have a video link below giving you a general tutorial on, on how to do that. And then once you install your new hard drive, you'll have to install the operating system again onto it. Uh, most likely, if you've gone that far and you can't install the operating system, 90% chance it's your hard drive. So you'll be able to fix it doing that. If the other 10% chance is your RAM, so you install a new hard drive, you install the OS onto it, and it's still not working, it's probably the 10% chance of you out there, you lucky people, that it's your RAM that's bad. Uh, so you'll have to change out your RAM. I'll have a video link below in how to test to see which one of your RAM sticks is bad, and then I'll have another video link helping you how, how to find the right RAM for your computer, because not all RAM uh, fits in all computers. So hopefully through all these things, the BIOS issues, the operating system issues, and then ultimately your hard drive, you will be able to fix this problem in your computer. Don't worry about it. And anytime you need any comments or questions, you get lost, leave me a comment and I'll walk you through uh, the section that you're dealing with. So uh, please like and share if this was helpful. Again, leave me a question. I, I get back to you a couple times a day at least. And uh, subscribe if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks so much, guys.